I'm a hot lesbian. The fuck? <laughs> Everybody knows that. Fabricio. Forever and ever. Oh, thank you so much. What the fuck? How stupid. No, I'm gonna chill here for a little bit and just be a free bird. And then I'll, I'll head to LA pretty soon. Wait, did we ever tell who it happened with what? Thank you. Okay, don't hold me to this, but I think I quit dabbing. I know. I know. I'm a pussy, but... I don't know. Probably didn't. But I, don't, I broke my shit, and I'm like, I have no desire to buy another motherfucking thing. I keep breaking them anyway, and weed's just weed. Who am I rooting for in Drag Race? All of them, mostly. I love Nina, of course. You're smoking, too? Well, hi, Nick. Cheers. Yeah, I pretty much turn it out, my shows. Sometimes I get lost in a moment, and I'll ruin, like, a fucking thousand dollar garment. My mom don't care about my weed smoking. She's, as long as I'm happy, she doesn't really care. She's not one of those moms that's like, stop. She's more like, get happy. This Islander, I did like a three minutes, dude. I just like winged it on really quick because I looked like fucking death becomes her when I got off the plane right now. I was like, there's no way these kids, well, I don't have any makeup on, but this Islander, but it's still kind of accentuated my eyes. Accentuated. Oh, gosh. I was just telling the kids, I, was, I did an Ask Danny video the other day, and I tried to edit it, and I couldn't stomach it. It was just me talking about myself the entire time, because all you guys were asking was, like, just questions about me, as opposed to, like, you know, advice, question about me, advice, some other things. This is, like, a Revlon brown eyeliner. Remember Lagunja's? I did what? Three minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm fast at me. I'm super fat, quick at makeup. Oh no, I haven't told them that. Did you want me to tell them that? I forgot about that. That's how much... Girl, LA put my fucking brain into perspective, man. Like, I've even tried to lay off the whiskey, dude, for the past couple days. Like, I'm not... Even at the show, I was like, give me beer and water, because she got real cute that week. I haven't got like that in a while. I think I got that out of my system. I'm just trying to be a little pothead beer drinker now. Cause she got a little wild. Like that whiskey. You missed my green. We <laughs> any too? No, I can't go out anymore, man. That's why I'm just gonna I gotta get cats. So we just like chill naked and watch like Goonies. You know my brother's nickname is Goonie. New song when it's done. I love the cure. Anything Gaga touches, I pretty much love. It sounds a little chain smokery if I'm keeping it real, but I mean that's the trend right now in music. Everybody's kind of following the <laughs> fucking Justin Bieber like <laughs> like pretty like. I don't know, chimpanzee knows how to sing in the background kind of sound. I, I guess that's like the new 808 drum from 2009. But yeah, no, it sounds good. But it sounds like she's definitely gearing her sound towards radio, which I'm not mad at. But I love, I love Joanne. I'm not mad at that album at all. I like the chain smokers. It's just that they're they're kind of um, stapling a trend that Justin Bieber kind of brought on the scene, which is kind of that whole like. very that and like everybody sounds like it they all have a different meaning to their song but it's like whiskey meat it's like it all has that so right now in music i need some anger and some aggression i need some like angry kids that don't know how to paint going to the paint supply store and pouring colors all over the fucking concrete that's what i'd love to hear Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Does 
does not every song sound like there's like a chimpanzee that's being featured that knows how to vocalize some type of shit? Uh, uh, kind of fucking. What is that? Uh, Girls, you know I'm talking. What you know what I'm talking about when I say the. Uh, <coughs> Thank you. No, but they, a lot of them do sound like that. I'm not mad at it, but you know, Gaga, Gaga could do whatever, girl. No, I love it. I'll say she created it. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's definitely a dolphin. I'm not down with the dolphin sickness with my new music. I'm gonna make kids angry and think. That's my that's my passion. We're living in we're living in a Nixon era. We have no artists that are representing some type of frustration and curiosity, and it did not kill the cat. And even if it did, cats have nine lives, motherfucker. Do you have enough in there to finish me off? <laughs> I love Gogs. I think she's stunning. I'm not afraid of this industry or any type of like music shit people forget that i'm a motherfucking meow meow bitch i got nine lives i got i would i got seven more opportunities to take over the world let's play <laughs> <laughs> definitely sir kaiju is that how you say sir kaiju that's a pretty name if that's your real sir kaiju yeah, Gaga definitely went to the dolphin side with this song, but those verses are beauty. I know what she's doing, dude. She's she's pop. She is pop music. So if that's popular right now, she's pop music. She's the queen of pop. I'm smoking a sativa joint, <laughs> and then I'm going to probably do some work, and then. Finished coming up with this melody that I could not get out of my head. Drag advice? Stay true to who you are. No, just don't fucking copy anyone, okay? That shit's boring. That's it. You should not try marijuana until you're 25, probably. <laughs> I'm 27. I'm kidding. I say. I say 18. Probably. I don't know. Until you're mature. Live your youth out. See the colors for what they are before you start alternating them. You're honestly one of my style icons. I love your style. Well, thank you so much, man. I've been wearing this for, I'm afraid, three days, probably. And yeah, I know. A lot of people say that I look young, especially when I shave. Like, cause I act young, I have like a really, really, really young energy about me. Where's Waldo, realness? I think that's why I'm seeing, I'm gonna like stay single for the rest of my life. Like, no one can really handle my gig, I'm very like, all over the place. Would you ever come to the UK? Are you touring anytime soon? Yes, I'm going to be touring in the UK this year. Um, there are two, there's like, I don't know, two places that I want to definitely go. Um, but, yeah. Um, I will be in the UK soon. I'm trying to... People that try to live with anxiety, I would give you, um... Again, try to find an artistic outlet. Read. Read about it. Try to, um, self-improve. Um... Music helps me a lot, just because that's my artistic um, outlet. And I'm musically inclined, so, like, I like reading... Or not reading books, listening to like audiobooks that have like a beat in the background and stuff like that that are super informative, like business and shit. I like stuff like that. That helps me. Learning stuff, you know, building the brain, remembering things. I'm sorry, I can't help anyone on that. I used proactive when I was a kid because I had acne in high school. Other than that, I just used um, body soap in the shower and my washcloth that I wash my balls with. And, um,. That one, like, Ovino Jennifer Aniston lotion. <laughs> you genuinely have helped me so much with my self-image and loving my weird self, and I just love you so much. Tiny Eggy? Let me see, fucker. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. 
am I a fan of Nina? Nina Bonina Brown is one of my favorites. Every time somebody asks me that, dude, whether it's like you guys or a stranger or anybody, I have a, I have a thing for her. I think she's a star. Most of is good for the skin. That's what I can really get complimented. I need to get Botox. <laughs> yeah, Nina's just, she's just a lovely human. Well, thank you. I would like to think so. I remember when I first started out performing, my mom said, be careful by the way you act because it reflects on the way I raised you. And I took that as not, don't be a whore, because my mom knows I'm a whore. I think what she meant is, you know the core of what I raised you and stuff like that, you know? Like, just don't be a fucking asshole. Like, don't don't let people character assess it. You don't give them that ammo, I guess. So I think that's why, like, I get real defensive when people try to, like, take me for something that I'm really not. Because my mom was always just like, don't be a fucking boo-boo, because I bust my ass raising your fucking little shit ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you for coming in, Cupcake. I was, um, I just got off of a plane right now. I had a show in Vegas last night, and, um, it was a beautiful day in Seattle, and I think I'm gonna go out and meet some strangers and probably invite them over to my apartment <laughs> and play Donkey Kong. No, um, thanks, Zoe. Thank you, bitch. I'm very protective over my friends. Very protective. Like, you can do whatever you want to me, and I probably would be like, girl, yeah, I'll throw the buku in shade. Like, I'll straight up look and be like, okay. Like, I can I can kill a bitch with a look. But once you fuck with my friends, like, I turn into bad girls club. Like, it's real bad. Like, I'm not even from, I'm not even from a Zeus anymore, girl. Like, I'm straight in the hood of Baldwin Park. Like, I get down. I'm from fucking the streets of Pomona, bitch. With, you know, the host row. Like, once you sh throw shade to my friends, it's over. Game over. Like, I'm not even myself anymore. I'm just like... What? It, hmm? I never, like, fight. I'm always just like a... You'll get told. You be nice to people. I don't like... I don't like unjust. I don't like when... If I walk into a bar, say that's owned by, like, Lisa Vanderpump, and, like, the whole entire bar is gonna look at me because of the way I'm dressed and be like and they treat you differently, of course you're gonna, like, want to stand up to that if you're a Libra. Fuck that shit. My plans for tonight. I, I, I'm saying that I'm gonna go get a drink, but I'm probably gonna just order pizza and, um, watch Girls and Housewives. And... My God, I'm so excited. I just, just... Um... I'm going to Chile. Chile. Santiago. Um, May 5th, I believe, right? So, I, I get to chill until then. I'm trying to space out my gigs more now. Um, as opposed to just work, work, work. And, um, going crazy. Trinity? Which Trinity? My Trinity K Bonet? Or Trinity? I fucking love Trinity this season, too. Trinity the Tuck. Taylor. The Riles. She's pretty. We get it, you're not coming to Texas. Actually, actually, um, yeah. Thank you, babe. We're, we're booking, we're trying, we're not booking now, but we're planning on doing things this summer. So it should be a fun time in America, too. Like, we don't want to just, because I'm doing some stuff in the UK. Um, I'm doing a lot of stuff in the UK, and I think it recent I am, but, but, um, it's, it's a surprise. And, um, I don't want to, like, abandon my, my Merkins. I didn't get to see the I'm going to watch Untucked. Hi. Trin's my sister. My sis. When are you going to come smoke a blunt with me, Trinity? I didn't see. This is the blanket. It's like a, it's like a jacket. It's super rich. Look, I got it from Etsy. <laughs> you tie it. I'm covering. Okay, when I get drunk, I turn into Amy Winehouse, 
and I just I have like bruises on my body, so I, that's what I'm <laughs> I fell out the window on the roof in my hotel because I was trying to find my phone. Okay, <laughs> so basically you can tie it like this. She's super that, and then you can like even button her, and she's a punch. Isn't she stunning? Wait, hold on, you have to see her. You have to see her on the close-up room. Hey guys. No, my body was not ready for a terror wave to be naked underneath, girl. Not on all stars. I, I just wasn't, I didn't even know how to proportion my body. Now I'm just like, be naked. I didn't know how to proportion my body, but I just was over it. I am comfortable. It's super cozy. I kind of want to spark up another joint. Because I was smoking the half of that one. And like, weed makes me hyper. And it makes me like happy. <laughs> I can show you some of my drag, uh, my, my um, All Stars 2 looks if you'd like. That can always be like a video or something. Um, I'm also planning on selling. Would you guys be interested in buying like things that I wore and like DTF and like music video looks and like the finale dresses and stuff like that? Because, girl, it's taking up my entire, like I'm paying a two bedroom just so they can sleep in that room. Like, and they're not even alive. So I think I'm going to sell them, girl, or like throw them away because I was about to throw them away. Like, I'm about to open the Adore store. Unwashed and overpriced. Yeah, I have to go get a one bedroom because, girl, I'm not trying to pay no... And I, it's not coinage. It's not, like, super expensive, expensive for me, but, like, it's too big of a place. I'm a single girl. <laughs> Only go. Yeah, I'm going to sell. I'm super planning on selling a lot of the iconic looks, like the comedy challenge, um, um dress which was made by um what's her name which is I love her Betsy Johnson um we have every fucking prop we have, everything smells like how I use like cigarette so we're not we're not swatching any of them but we are selling them overpriced because they're iconic <laughs> no the door's ratchet store no I probably won't I'll probably just end up throwing it away <laughs> Cause, girl, it can be fucked, you know. I have an assistant already, you dork. He needs an assistant, though, girl. He was just... <laughs> Poor guy. No. John's an angel. He's literally, like, helped my entire life. I cleaned my house when I got home. See, I'm being productive. John went grocery shopping for me. I cleaned the fuck out of my house. And then, um... Yeah. Huh? Why does my room smell like spit? <laughs> oh no, it's the pop <laughs> I think it's the poppers. <laughs> it smells like spit. <laughs> Ew, uh, look at the smell. <laughs> Whatever, you guys can't act like you don't know. <laughs> um, I'm probably pretty because my mom <laughs> I was like, ew, it smelled like spit. It didn't really smell like this. It just smelled like a weird smell. You guys ever smell cinnamon gum? I feel like cinnamon gum smells like spit. I don't know why. I just hate the smell of like, ugh, I don't like that spitty, like, cinnamony smell. I'm so weird, dude. <laughs> but is such a funny word. I love that word. But. I kind of want an orange. Oh, do I want peanut butter? Do I want peanut butter? What happened? I will be the assistant of the assistant, not even joking. <laughs> oh my god, dudes, for real. So, a trick that Martha Stewart taught me. My idol. She says to get a half a lemon, but I like to cut it in fours. So you cut the lemon and you watch your fucking hands. Because <laughs> I've cut my fucking finger off almost before. And then, to make your house smell good, you throw it down the garbage disposal, turn on some hot water, and then you turn on the garbage disposal. <sighs> so fresh. And then you save like $18.99 off Lysol. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, dude. Yeah. I'd be trouble. I'd be such trouble in the kitchen. I do want a pickle. Well, it's true, man. There was a fucking piece of lemon, because I like eating lemon, but I have to stop now because I think I fucked up my stomach by eating so much. Yeah, I know how to teach you little hacks. Like, how to get nail polish off your hands in, like, a million seconds. Like, you know how red nail polish is like a fucking bitch to get off your hands, dude? And don't do me. You know it is. Bitch, I can show you how to get that shit off in about... Because usually, bitch, that shit takes me minutes. I can get that off now in probably, like... Hmm... Probably, like, two minutes. I bruised up my back and my arm... <laughs> and my arm um, falling out the... <laughs> the window of my hotel because I thought I lost my my phone because I like to smoke on the roof of the hotel even though they have cameras and I'm an idiot I'm harmless um I like to just like be in the corner and like you know think I'm artistic and like be weird and watch the city because it's like a pretty view and I left my phone on the roof and I thought I left it at a, at a at a fucking bar and then my cousin ended up fucking calling it and it was on the roof and I like climbed out of my window I fell. <laughs> and it hurt. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, I have to do more YouTube videos. Um. I mean, they're just... They're a priority, but I feel like music is more of a priority for me. And, like, being, like, productive in that way. And kind of trying to get, you know, my third record developed. And just kind of finished. I think that's more of my priority right now. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a drag musician. I mean, I'm not really a makeup artist, am I? Like, I do makeup okay, but if you give me a client, I'm gonna make her look like a gremlin, homie. Like, it's just, it's just what it is. <laughs> my weed hacks. I don't really have any weed hacks. I don't know if you guys are ready for this, this single. I think you guys are going to trip the fuck out. Because, yeah. I tend to um, get, you know, determined and possessed when it comes to my music. Like, I feel like... <sighs> that's the only way that it's going to come across genuine if you're, like, living it. If you're actually recording it in a fucking cool-ass metal garage in Arizona... <laughs> Or if you're fucking, you know, living the streets of the ads and learning, like, weird people's stories and, you know, it'll come off genuine. Show you. <laughs> my hair is kind of reddish and it's natch. My brother's, my brother Ernie's hair is red and my brother Frankie's like a blondish red. Thank you. I've never got that before. I'm not even going to repeat that, because when people say I look like pretty people, like, I feel like an asshole for being like, oh, oh thank you. Because, oh. bitch, you know I'm feeling for myself, because you just told me that compliment, bitch, so don't do me. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. I want to come to Peru. I want to come to El Paso. My hair is the reason you're alive. <laughs> Nori. Alright, you guys. I think I'm going to go now. I'm going to take this piece of shit excuse of eyeliner off my eyes. I only put this shit on just to come on here. You know I don't fucking wear makeup. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I love you. And I do wear makeup sometimes, but I'm a tomboy. I'm a tomboy boy. I'm a tomboy drag queen. Mm. Me? I love you guys. Go get something to eat.